Hi everyone, and welcome to the first mini episode of Clinton's Critters. Uh, I'm head naturalist Clinton with the Friends of Sac Zim Bog, um, and today we're going to look at phenology. Now, phenology isn't necessarily a critter, but there are a lot of critters that tell us about phenology. Phenology uh, is the study of how a season changes over time. Oftentimes, we look at flowers blooming, or emergence of certain insects, or maybe even amphibians calling. Um, and so today, we're going to try to showcase a few of those critters here in the Sac Zim Bog. It's a wonderful spring day, uh, and I think there's lots of things happening, um, so we're going to go check it out. So we've stopped behind Gray J Way for a nice surprise of early season bog phenology. If you recognize this plant, this is Leatherleaf. And Leatherleaf just opened, which I was hoping it would. So this plant is a host for a number of different species. Uh, some of these are just open. That nice white bell-shaped flower, that is the flower of Leatherleaf. Got a few more flowers just about ready to go. Leatherleaf is one of our earliest bog specialists, that flower. Always a nice surprise. If we take a look at one of these tamaracks behind Gray J Way, behind the Welcome Center here, those needles are just popping out. And tamarack needles, when they just emerge, are very, very soft. But something you don't always get to see are the brand new tamarack cones. That nice purple little buddy there, just starting to form. For reference, Here's some older female cones there. These are the cone producing cones, not the spore producing cones. Those would be the male cones. One marker of the season that is often overlooked are flowering grasses and sedges. Often their bloom periods are just very, very short. And this is sort of an interesting little one on our cotton grass. We're along Gray J Way. And cotton grass is one of the most ubiquitous species you might find. But oftentimes we don't ever get to see it flowering. Nice subtlety in those flowers there. Our first destination today, looking for indicators of phenology, is this nice little stretch of deciduous woods. So we're going to pop into the woods here. One, for us, that is pretty difficult to find most of the time, Bloodroot. Um, Bloodroot is a really, really awesome early season bloomer. Um, one of those really nice indicator species. Spring beauties are super variable, sort of like our hepaticas, where you have some nice pinks, uh, sometimes it's white, sometimes it can be a little bluey. A wood anemone. Which again, same sort of story. It can be pink, can be white. These ones are very bright white. And a really good early season pollinator food option. White trout lily. Um, and this location, as far as I've been able to find, is the only location in the bog with white trout lily. I haven't found yellow yet. And they are just getting close. You see right in the center of those leaves, there's that flower just getting ready to open. Really amazing early season plant. So this is marsh marigold. And this is the first one that I've seen this year. There are a few more in this little pocket that are starting to open. In this little ephemeral water body, there's a lot of life. But the life we're looking for, we'll have to use our net and swoop for. Let's see what we can find. And success, we were able to find a nice adult predaceous diving beetle. These beetles, as you can see, hold air underneath their wing covers to help them breathe underwater. Both adults and larvae are very much predators, eating things the size of small fish to tadpoles to other aquatic insect larvae. During the spring season, adults can often be found well away from where they're supposed to be, traveling over land, ending up in parking lots, looking for that next new body of water to populate.
if you can hear me over all these frogs, frogs are a really, really good way to measure phenology. First for us in northern Minnesota are wood frogs. Second and third are this guy, which is a spring peeper and boreal chorus frog. And right now, if you can hear behind us, pretty much all peepers and a few chorus frogs, one leopard frog, and even fewer wood frogs. There's lots of wood frog eggs, but hardly any adults singing, but a beautiful dark color. If we look on the back, usually you wanna look at the X on the back to identify spring peeper. This one does not have an X. Super dark, beautiful little frog. Awesome. So let him go, see what he does. end our little Clinton's Critters mini episode today with skunk cabbage. Skunk cabbage usually uh, can be found blooming when there's still snow on the ground. This, believe it or not, is the flower and the leaves come second. A really wonderful, wonderful way to end a really nice day with some cool species. We hope you enjoyed this mini episode of Clinton's Critters. Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestions on creatures you'd like to see profiled in another mini episode, send me an email at naturalist.saxzim.org. And until next time, we'll see you in the box.